Right here in the Bay Area, scientists regularly create earthquakes. The Pacific Earthquake Engineering Research Center is an organization that's trying to advance earthquake engineering by doing high-level, problem-focused research. We're investigating the built environment, the buildings that you see around you every day. It's what you do every day. It's your home, your building, your office where you go, schools, hospitals, all those buildings that we need to function in our everyday life. We also consider you know, bridges, the road networks you use every day. All those things are a part of the built environment and all need to perform safely after a future earthquake. Since 1997, researchers at Pierre have been studying how certain buildings will react to different types of earthquakes. They study existing buildings and bridges and those yet to be built. And when simulating the earthquakes, the scientists not only vary the magnitude of the quake, but the way the ground shakes as well. We also do a lot related to seismic hazard, so better understanding what sorts of earthquakes can happen and how the kind of the basic science of seismology can be applied to engineering. When scientists at Pier talk about their specimens, they aren't describing insects, birds, or amphibians. They're talking about concrete and steel structures. The Academy filmed one of the specimens in action for our new planetarium show. We're testing how would this steel building perform if we could actually seismically isolate it. And seismic isolation is, is a unique method in which we separate the building itself from the ground in a way that allows it to perform independently in an earthquake. So it's easy to think about if you think about putting a building on roller skates, so that when the ground shakes and moves quite violently, the building's just going to roll around and kind of sway around. This technology is a very cutting edge technology that really can help buildings perform much better in earthquakes and in increase their safety and their performance and their use afterwards. The results at Pier don't just benefit engineers and scientists, but all of us. We get the projects because it's a problem that engineers are actually having in the real world and maybe there's a way we can, we can study it and better understand the issue and design something even better. It's important to know that our buildings are going to perform well and our bridges are going to perform well and that we're all going to be able to function after an earthquake safely and get out of that um, and be able to continue on our lives in the, in the way that we normally do.